Hi friends, Knife Detector here, and I wanted to show you this Rough Rider Elephant Toenail. Now this Rough Rider Elephant Toenail is from the time when Rough Rider was spelled with an I. And when I came across this little beauty on eBay, well, I just had to have it, right? Now this has horn on it. This is made with horn. Look at that beautiful texture, that beautiful color in that horn. But if you look closely, you can see that when they pin this, you know, it got a little bit of cracking there on the pin, which is, to be honest, it's kind of understandable because horn is very delicate to work with. Um, I can see here that there's a little bit of scratching right there on the horn. So I don't know if this was a Rough Rider Factory second, but I did get this at a decent price, I, I think, for it being a horn knife. I think I paid like 25 bucks for this a while back. It's been sitting in my toolbox for a while, but I wanted to show it to you guys because, you know, even though I have carried this a few times, and this was much dirtier, by the way, I did a little cleaning on it. Notice how one side is shinier than the other. Um, told me it was sitting for a while on one side. And, uh, you know, horn is a natural material, you know? So because of that, you know, it is more affected by water and the elements. So um, it's something that, you know, you have to be aware of when you store it, you know? So you wanna store it in uh, as much of a dry environment as you can so that you don't let moisture get in this bad boy. But anyway, I digress. Let's take a look at this elephant toe. And as you know, the elephant toes are mostly, they're wider on one side than the other. And you guys know I like elephant toes and sunfish knives. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful knife. And that says Rough Rider with an eye. Tested, sharp. And it's got that long pull. Got some brass spacers. Notice it's got some scratches here. I think that's from the other blade. Yep. I'm trying to see some numbers so I can tell you what number designation, but I think it's hidden behind the bolster. Yeah. Let's check the small blade out, what do you say? Nice. Oh. Yeah, never been used, this one. Very sharp. Yeah, I tell you what, this was a joy to carry in my pocket. Um, I really enjoy it. But I can feel that, you know, eventually uh, it's going to become an issue. Because when I grab it, I kind of I kind of hear a little something. Almost like there's, even though I can't discern any movement by touching it, I hear a sound, kind of like, like um, maybe you can hear it if I squeeze it. Maybe you can't. I squeeze it and I felt kind of like a little cracking sound. And I think it's coming from some dirt that may have gotten in between the, in between the, uh, the metal and the horn covers. So I'm not sure, but I have a feeling that as I use this, that that might be an issue later. So I'm gonna have to be real careful how I store this bad boy. And because of that, I'm gonna tell you, I'm probably not gonna to be too comfortable using it only because I don't wanna damage it. And I know there's already cracking here going on. So that may be the sound I heard, but uh, I noticed it before, but it might be getting worse. And so, you know, I love this little knife, but more than likely I'm gonna keep this and use it uh, sparingly because I wanna keep it pristine, but I will use it. So eventually if a scale does fall off, oh well, it might just be a nice little project for me at some point. All right, amigos, I wanted to show you this bad boy. Tell me what you think. You know, these gems are out there. They're out there. A lot of people don't even look for this stuff anymore. Most people look for the next big thing, whether it be, you know, any new brand popping up, uh, flippers, quick deployment. They don't go for these with the long nail pull that you have to pull out and, and you bury them in your pocket and you don't pull them out until you need them, right? All right, amigos, I wanted to show you this little blast from the past. It's not too old. My guess would be the 90s or early 2000s. All right, y'all have a blessed, blessed Saturday, amigos, and have a great weekend. Take care.